Hi guys, so here I am with no makeup on whatsoever and I'm going to be doing a review slash trial on the Bliss Rubberizing Mask. Um, I like to do uh, videos on interesting products which I find are kind of strange, things that you wouldn't normally come across. The previous video I did was the Rodeal Snake um, Serum Mask snake mask video which was kind of interesting I got a lot of um, positive feedback on that so today I'm going to be doing this so just start off with I've um, cleansed my face and I've toned and obviously I've got no makeup on except for a bit of brow product which is it and since I don't have the whole pack I can't really show you exactly what it comes with but you get six sachets in the pack it re retails at $38 and I think that's around 36 Six pounds or 34 pounds so it's quite expensive you also get these little spatulas here which are disposable to mix the product so to make this activate you have to mix water with the powder and I don't have you do get like a little spatula cup you do get their own little measuring cup in the pack but I don't have that so I've just got a bowl and I've just sort of indicated how much water I think I'll need I started off with a bit, a bit less water so if I need any more I'm going to add it uh, so I'm just going to open the sachet at the top and just pour the product into the water. So I'm just stirring until the consistency turns into sort of a paste-like consistency. And it looks like purple porridge. <laughs> So now the product is quite smooth, as you can see. It's kind of like a thick paste, um, kind of like icing, reminds me of. I'm just going to apply the product with the spatula onto my face, making sure it doesn't drip. And I'm going to apply quite a thick layer since I've mixed two packets in here, which I'll probably use the rest on my fiancé, if he'll let me do it. So I'm just applying the mask with my fingers because it's a lot easier. It's kind of like slop or something. It just doesn't feel that good on the skin. It feels really strange. But it feels really cooling as well. I can imagine if I was like having a hot flush or something or if I was in menopause this would feel pretty good apart from the dripping down my nose part I don't know whether that's because I've added too much water or what let me know if you if you've used this before I think it's a more I think the more it sets in the air the less um, runny it becomes, so you avoid your chance of getting it slopped all over your clothes. Hi guys, um, I've, it's pretty much dry now, but I just want you to see how it looks, because it looks like I've got a bony hand in my nose. Like, I look like something out of House of Wax. Remember that film with Paris Hilton? That really bad film. <laughs> but yeah, it feels pretty cool. Um, I just tried to put it on Jack, but it turned into like, really bitty because it dried really fast so a tip if you're going to use this make sure you use it really really fast because it literally turns into rubber as soon as you put it on the skin so it's meant to look like this quite smooth in consistency and then it will turn to rubber <laughs> um sorry if you can't take me seriously while i'm talking but yeah so just a bit about the ingredients so it claims to brighten the skin uh it claims to um fend off free radicals uh, even out skin tone and texture and just brighten the skin overall and um, the four main ingredients on the pack are Algin which um, is the rubberizing ingredient and um, which basically binds all the key ingredients together to make it into this rubbery texture Which is meant to help absorb the ingredients better into the skin. It also has um, Biberry that's how you pronounce it um, they call it something else on the packet and um, something a bit more scientific But um, it's basically an antioxidant berry It's a bit like a blueberry, but they come in pairs and basically what that does It helps with the free radicals from pollution and um, from the environment and it's kind of like green tea But for your skin, it's just really really good for your skin uh, Also has seaweed in it which helps refine the pores and um, it basically 
takes all the toxins out of the skin and it just mildly, mildly exfoliates the skin. It also has salicylic acid in it, which it doesn't mention actually on the back, but it's written in a different form. Um, but it's basically a form of salicylic acid, which helps exfoliate the skin. Um, vitamin C, which helps brighten, promote collagen, and that's just a really good ingredient to have. Um, I was looking at the other, other ingredients, because I'm not absolutely like great on ingredients. I don't know every single um, word for, you know, the... Um, ingredients but I looked up some of them and it has a lot of um uh perfume in it which I don't know it can't it can be bad for some skins which are quite sensitive um but a lot of the perfumes and the um colouring agents in there were natural so kind of that makes it kind of a bit better that they are natural. Um, and it also has essentials or oils in it, but most of the products that are in this are found in like 35% of normal um, cosmetic skincare ingredients, so it's nothing to be worried about. But if you do have sensitive skin, um, beware because it does have perfume in it. So yeah, I'm just going to wait a bit longer and then I'm going to take it off. So it's been 15 minutes now, I'm going to start peeling it off from the top. I'm just going to put it in this... Thing. you're not meant to flush it down the toilet so I've got to sort of throw it in the bin the trash can I mean yeah. uh, oh my skin actually looks really um, evened out and really bright I'm quite impressed And it doesn't hurt as much as the snake mask either because that really does pull pull at the skin when you pull it off. Whereas this, it's fairly easy to get off. So I'm just going to go over with the toner just to remove the last bits of mask. I'm just using the Oli Home Mixer Balancing Cucumber Mist. Now looking at my face now, I think it's actually made a really good difference. My face looks a bit more fresh, it looks less red here and it looks really bright here when I'm looking at it. It just feels really soft and I'm actually quite um, impressed with the results and I'd definitely um, actually buy this pack. I do think it's worth it and if you're maybe like having a girl's pamper night or something this would be like a really good product to use on each other. I know that sounds a bit like corny or something but um, I think it's like a really fun product. And it's better than just a normal convention, conventional peel-off mask as well. So yeah, I'm, I would give this a rating of probably 8.5 out of 10. Um, I definitely would repurchase this, but uh, again, it is an expensive product at $38, um, around £36. But I do think it actually does make a difference. So yeah, um, thanks for watching this video and tune in for more videos and make sure you subscribe. See you soon. Bye.